And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, a good Sunday evening, mid-Michigan. I hope that your weekend has been winding down nicely so far today. And it's been a little cooler than your Saturday, but it is still pretty hot and decently humid out there as well. But we'll start off with this live look across Johnson Street in downtown Saginaw. And we can see it's actually pretty bright here in Saginaw. Just again, on a little bit of that more humid side with a dew point at 67 degrees. Temperatures, though, are pretty comfortable at 82 degrees, but combine the temperature and the dew point. We have a, a heat index of 84 degrees, so still just make sure you're staying hydrated uh, if you are doing any uh, extended uh, amounts of time outdoors this evening. That is for sure. And at least it's also a pretty quiet evening too with an east northeast wind at five miles per hour. But that's here in Saginaw. As we go down I 75 uh, more towards Flint and our I 69 corridor, we do have a couple of showers that have been popping up uh, this afternoon into this dinner hour here. It's decently slow moving though, so expect some more moderate to even heavy downpours at times uh, near the Lake Fenton and Grand Blanc area, also towards uh, Lapeer and Metamora as well. But as we zoom out around the rest of the area, the rest of us are all dry here. Here on the first one five sky track, we can see that this cold front that's draped across the Great Lakes and uh, the lower peninsula. That's what's cr uh, creating some of the lifting for some of those showers popping up. We do have high pressure filling in just behind that though, so that's going to keep things pretty quiet for your Monday. And also just a quick note, Tropical Storm Henri has made landfall over in the northeast. Uh, luckily, though, that is continuing to weaken there. And even when it made landfall, it wasn't as strong as initially anticipated. But coming back to mid-Michigan here in the first worn five hour by hour, we'll see that the rest of us are remaining dry as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Even still, we'll be seeing some mostly clear to partly cloudy skies through the overnight. The model is trying to kick up a couple of showers along the I-69 corridor as you wake up tomorrow morning. However, I think that's more just noise from the model. I think we'll all be staying dry. If anything, we'll be seeing more patchy fog as you wake up to start off your Monday. And then the rest of the day, thanks to high pressure, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. It's just going to be on that hotter end again. And speaking of, the first half of this work week is going to be pretty hot. The heat is not going anywhere. Upper 80s on Monday and Wednesday. I think some of us will even touch 90 on Tuesday. And then we'll still be keeping those 80s as we go towards the second half of this work week. Also, our humidity is going to be spiking in the middle of this work week as well. So that's where another chance uh, for some showers and thunderstorms does come in. There's your forecast for tonight, though. Low of 62 degrees, middle 50s for our northern locations. And then tomorrow back up to 80. 7 degrees and again at least just slightly less humid for your Monday but still pretty hot there and again just hot to start off this upcoming work week Tuesday and Wednesday a chance of showers and thunderstorms a slightly better chance on Wednesday Thursday and Friday dry for right now but it does look like we might have to add a chance in later on this week and next week and we're just looking at smaller chances for thunderstorms once again there Jamie thank you Matthew